At the end of the last video, I mentioned that you could find Laplace transforms either on the internet where everything lives or using some software. Well, that's true, but that wasn't very helpful. Let's maybe take a little bit deeper dive into this. Let's take a look at how Laplace transforms work in MathCAD and then MATLAB. Again, I'm just using MathCAD because it's easy to look at. I'm not expecting you to learn MathCAD, although if you'd like to, I recommend it. MATLAB's probably more powerful overall. It's just harder to look at. So if you look on the screen here, I've typed in the definition of a Laplace transform. There's the kernel function right there. And there's the function I'm trying to transform. That's f of t. Well, what happens when I do that? And by the way, I've got that infinity up here too. So I'm going to do a symbolic evaluate, and I get this. Well, what's that? Well, there's 1 over s plus a. I've seen that before. What's all this stuff? The limit as t goes to infinity of, of e to the minus t s plus a over s plus a. Okay, right there, as t goes into infinity, it really doesn't matter what s and a are. As t goes to infinity, e to the minus t goes to zero. Now, that's if s plus a is positive. If s plus a is negative, that negative, and that negative make this e to some number, that's going to diverge. If we assume s plus a is positive, this term goes to zero as t goes to infinity. So that whole expression in the parenthesis goes to zero. Let's try this. Let's just type in, oops, a t and just say Laplace. What do you get? 1 over s plus a. There it is. Now this symbolic Laplace command in MATCAD works the same as it does in MATLAB. Let's just try one or two more. What happens if we take a square root? So there we are. This works just fine in MathCAD, and since MATLAB has the same symbolic process in it, MuPad should work fine there too. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm going to need to define some symbolic variables. There we go. Let's just see what happens. EXP minus A times T. Let's just hit return here. Oh, there it is. Let's try something else. Laplace of t. There it is. Laplace of square root of t. And again, there it is. So we get the same result in MathLab that we do in MathCAD. MathCAD is just a little easier to look at. And finally, I mentioned that there were places online where you could get lists of Laplace transforms. They're all over the place. Uh, one of the places you can go is Wikipedia. So here's part of that page, and I'll put the address at the bottom of the page so you can look it up if you want to. So unless you get really, really deep into differential equations, this should be plenty of information for you to solve differential equations using Laplace transforms. I hope this helps. We'll talk to you next time.